Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Yue Eats. I'm Yue. Up until now, we've been eating at local restaurants in Jersey City and New York City, but for this video, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna drive all the way down to South Jersey. We're gonna stay at the famous and luxurious Borgata Hotel, and we're gonna eat at the famous Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill Restaurant. Anyways, we got a long trip ahead of us, so let's go. All right guys, we just picked up our car. Off to Atlantic City. All right guys, I just parked at the Borgata Garage. Let's see if we can check in. I'm already seeing some pretty cool flower displays. Lots of really beautiful centerpieces coming off the elevator. So the lobby is that way, but let's walk around a bit. Of course, they put the casino floor right in the middle, so you have to walk past it to go anywhere. So, very smart floor planning by Borgata. I hear good things about this izakaya. It's supposed to be bringing traditional Japanese food, uh, but in a more upscale way, here to the people of South Jersey. And the old Homestead Steakhouse, this is a staple in New York, so pretty cool that they have one of these here, too. I don't think my phone is picking up the color contrast properly, but Honestly, the lighting of this casino is just beautiful. Now this is supposed to be the best buffet in Atlantic City, so let's just check it out. I gotta say though, this is just a beautiful buffet in terms of appearance and decor. They have a pizza section here with some fresh pizza, it looks like. They've got fresh mussels, fresh salmon, all sorts of great meat options, and great desserts too. Check out my video on the Borgata Buffet. I've got some time to kill before checking in, so let's kill some time. That was enough playing for now. Let's go check in. Now I gotta say, this hotel is beautiful. It may not be comparable to the luxurious Vegas hotels, but it's pretty damn close. Just tons of super cool decorations everywhere. The architecture of the whole place is majestic, and the place is completely spotless. This is like a waiting area right before the guest elevators. Even this waiting room is just so beautiful. So many cool chandeliers and stuff everywhere. And flowers everywhere decorating the whole place. I'm on the room of my suite and it is so quiet you could hear a pin drop here. Well, it's all carpet. If it were not carpet you could hear a pin drop. Whoa we check out this place. I didn't just book any room at the Borgata, I booked the Fiori Suite. Check it out. Just check this place out. This place is so decked out. Really, really cool aesthetics and decor. I requested a king-sized bed, so we'll see how comfy this is later. Got a ton of cabinet space. TV mounted into the wall, which is nothing special, but I like the decor of the place in general. And next to the TV, we got a few things too. Water that may or may not be complimentary. I'll uh, leave this Borgata water alone. Got a container if you want to make ice. Got a condiment kit since, you know, this is a casino and you might get lucky. I'm guessing this is a mini fridge? Yep, that's exactly what it is. We got this cool lounge area, which looks more stylish than comfortable, but looks kind of cool regardless. The only thing I'm complaining about is I feel like this couch should be facing the TV a little more directly. In fact, even the bed does not really directly face the TV. It's a, They're both kind of far from the TV. This view, by the way, let's check it out. We got a big view of some New Jersey marshes, as well as some wind turbines. And we can kind of see some other hotels too. I think that's Hara's and I think that might be Ocean. Let's check out the bathroom. Whoa. Oh my goodness, you guys gotta check out this bathroom. This is one of the most spectacular hotel bathrooms I have ever seen. Now, maybe I'm just not super classy and I haven't stayed in some amazing hotels, but I think this is just completely amazing. Just look! 
the whole floor is like marble or or is that granite? Uh, I don't know. I think it's marble. And look, it extends to the bathtub. The bathtub is marble too. Look, it's a completely marble bathtub. Just look at how cool this bathtub is. And the marble extends to the shower too. Just look at how cool this is. It's an entirely marble shower. And there's a bench if you get tired while showering. The marble extends to the toilet. Very cool. Too bad the toilet's not marble, but it's surrounded by a pretty cool wallpaper and, oh, look at this, right next to the toilet. You can call room service while you're on the john. And I want to show the sink again. It's just so cool. I like how nice hotels always fold your towels so neatly. The only part of the bathroom I don't really dig is this random table and chair in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I guess it's for makeup or something. I mean, I don't really dig it, but it's okay. Maybe I just don't have a use for it or something, but... Just check out how huge this bathroom is. Just look. The last thing to check. The bed. <gasps> oh. oh, man. Well, the bed definitely passes the UA test. It's comfy and it's big. What else could you want? Ooh, one more thing we forgot to look at. All their room service options. They've got a whole bunch of breakfast options appetizers and snacks, sandwiches, and fancy stuff like steak, as well as a whole bunch of booze. Anyways guys, this hotel is seriously cool, at least the Fiori Suite is. So today is the day after Memorial Day, so I got a really good price. Usually this room goes for like 400-500 bucks, but I got this room for only $150. Pretty crazy, right? Now I'm not sure if it's worth the usual 400-500, but at least I got to stay at it cheaper and I got to show you guys what it's like. Anyways guys, I'm gonna take a bit of a break. I'm gonna go eat dinner and I'm gonna eat dinner at Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill. So I'll be back. All right, we have a reservation, so let's get to it. The food, by the way, was just amazing. Look out for my video on this restaurant. A little pricey, but once in a while, definitely worth it. All right, guys, I think I walked off a lot of my calories, and plus, it's the day after Memorial Day weekend, so there's not really that many people out and about, so I'm gonna go back to my hotel and relax for a bit, so catch you guys in the morning. Wow, rise and shine. So it's been pretty fun to stay in the suite. I think I'm gonna relax a little bit, but for breakfast, let's order some room service. So for breakfast, they got a fruit plate, oatmeal, cereal, a yogurt parfait, uh, they got smoked salmon, pastries, eggs, omelets, pancakes, and a Borgata breakfast sandwich. You know, I ate at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant yesterday and it was great, but it was a little rich, so I think I'll go with something a little bit healthier and I'll go with the yogurt parfait with its seasonal berries and house-made granola. But let's also get a breakfast pastry to go with it. Hi, uh, can I get a yogurt parfait and a breakfast pastry? That'll be it. Thank you. All right, they said half an hour, so that should give me enough time to take a bath. Actually, I just learned something about the shower. It looks like you can not only control the water pressure, but you can set a specific temperature for your water. I gotta try this. Wow, guys, that was a great shower. Hopefully our room service will be here soon. Hello. Hi, thank you. All right, I got my room service. Let's eat breakfast. All right, this is the yogurt parfait with house-made granola and fresh berries. It actually looks pretty good. And this is a cherry danish. It looks pretty good too. It looks really flaky and buttery. All right, guys, let's dig in. It's a shame that everything is in these to-go containers. I wonder if they used to have plates. I wonder if it's because of COVID restrictions. You know, maybe that's why they don't send it inside anymore. Maybe everything is kind of takeout style for that reason. Anyways, let's do the Danish first since it's hot and I don't want it to get cold. All right, let's take a bite. Ooh. Oh, that is excellent! I don't eat Danish as often, and the ones that I've had were kind of not really freshly baked. I've only ever had those commercially pre-made ones. But that is excellent! That's like eating like a cherry pie, but in Danish form. Alright, I, I gotta eat more. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. 
mom, the crust is flaky, and that cherry in the inside is so fresh. Okay, it's a little bit sour, but just the right amount of sourness, and that sauce, that jam that goes with it, oh, this is... Oh, th this is incredible. I got this Danish just to try out, but I'm definitely gonna finish that. One more bite. Oh. Unreal. Unreal, guys. Unreal. That is insanely delicious. That is... That is great. And for $5, I don't think it's that unreasonably priced. Alright, next. Yogurt parfait. Now, this is me trying to be healthy, and parfaits are kind of healthy, right? I mean, it's... Greek yogurt, it's fruit, granola. It, it, it might not be healthy, but it's not that unhealthy at least. Anyways, let's dig in. Mmm, mmm. The fruit is definitely really fresh. It's not sour at all. It's it, That's a sweet blackberry. Mmm, mmm. I mean, the granola's all right. They say it's house made, but it's a little dry. I know granola is probably supposed to be like that, but I've had granolas that were glazed in something, so... I mean, it's not bad, but it's average granola. Mm. I mean, it's good. It's a parfait. And who doesn't like parfaits? But this is a little average. The yogurt doesn't really taste spectacular. It kind of just tastes like normal Greek yogurt. The fruit on top, really fresh, really sweet, not sour at all. But the yogurt and the granola, average. It's not bad. It's an average parfait, and I love parfait, but but for $8, it's a little steep. Uh, I think maybe 4 to 5 bucks would be a little more fair for what you're getting. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you really liked watching my stay at the Borgata Hotel, especially my stay at this Fiore Suite. And this suite has been great, and I got a good price. Uh, hopefully, you got to see the place for yourself, and, and depending on how much it costs at its normal price, whether it's $200, $300, $400, uh, you can decide for yourself if it's worth it to stay here. I'm going to finish my parfait now, and I'm definitely going to finish this Danish. Like and subscribe if you like my content. Until next time, I'll see you later.